Hi George, tell uh, us about yourself and how you get involved in Joomla. Hi Phil. Um, so, um, I started getting involved in Joomla in about uh, 2000, well, I started using Joomla in about 2009 when I was part of a gaming community um, that was using uh, Joomla as a uh, website to manage all its users and members and we were using Kinendo as a forum. Um, after that, uh, me and my friends started getting interested in the software and started playing around with it and subsequently learned PHP and um, kind of fell in love with the community really. Oh great. And just Joomla 3.7 is released. Any thoughts about that? Um, I think 3.7 is a really strong release. Um, we're doing a lot of things much better. Um, I was uh, personally quite taken with the multilingual associations component. I think that thing is uh, going to make a big difference to people building multilingual websites, which is something Joomla is already really strong at. Um, I think it's going to be a big, diff uh, big game changer for Joomla. I'm also really looking forward to kind of the rest of the Joomla 3 as well, like the router yeah. that's coming in 3.8, and um, yeah, it's looking really promising. Yeah, and you are the release reader for Joomla 4. How did you get involved, and what is your vision for Joomla 4? So, I mean, we've had a couple of full starts on Joomla 4 already. This is now kind of the third attempt to make Joomla 4 work. Um, and I think that Joomla 4 has to be something that's... Obviously, we're going to be making people upgrade websites, uh, which is something you should never do lightly. However, I think we've reached the time and the place where this needs to happen. Um, we've reached a point where we're maintaining too much code and it's becoming hard to make releases of the software without um, doing substantial cleanups that will involve breaks for extensions in limited cases. So, um, when we started Joomla 4, one of the key motivators was if we can clean up a lot of the code and make sure there is one good way of doing things, then we can um, hopefully make the software less buggy overall, less buggy for extension developers, and try and make releases more clean in the future. Okay. And what challenge have the team fa have faced as you double Joomla 4? So I think um, there's been several that we've encountered. I mean, I, I think... Um, one of the things that's personally taken me by surprise is was that um, Bootstrap 4 has taken substantially longer to come out than we thought. It's still in alpha phase. Um, everybody's an open source project, of course, and you know, we've taken longer to do Joomla 4 than we thought we would at the start. Um, when I very first um, took over this a year ago, I was hoping that we might even have something in kind of late alpha phase by now, but obviously that hasn't happened. Um, but I've been kind of surprised that Bootstrap is still in uh, late alpha. Um, I've been, it, it, and it's also a lot of the stuff's taken longer than expected. And there's all, been all kinds of hidden nooks and crannies in the code that have taken longer to overcome than me or the team expected. I think. Okay. Uh, what are the ma major features for Joomla for for developers and site integrators? Um. So, uh, site integrators. Um, who are probably Joomla's main target group. Um, there's some really nice features. We're looking, we've got a completely revamped media manager with a fresh interface, and um, now doing, uh, you're now able to edit images inside the media manager, which is really cool. Um, we've also got um, fresh um, admin and front-end templates uh, built with Bootstrap 4, so we find the uh, no more developing in Bootstrap 2 anymore. And um, on top of that, we've also got um, some. Uh, um, yes. um, and on top of that, there's um, a new installer which will be just a single page. Okay, great. Um, and what is the upgrade path for developers, also for site integrators? So, um, the upgrade path should be reasonably easy. So we're doing two things to try and make this easier. The first thing is is that when we do Joomla 3.9, Joomla 3.9 won't really have any major new features in, but it will be adding compatibility code. This means for extension developers, our aim is, is that you can have a code base that will run on 3.9 and Joomla 4 without too many issues. Um, the hardest bit will probably be um, obviously removing any, if you're using deprecated code, 
you're going to have to swap to the, non the, the new versions of the code that aren't deprecated, and um, having um, extension markup that's going to be supporting Bootstrap 2 and Bootstrap 4 for your Juno 3 and Juno 4. But the actual um, process for developers should be really easy. As a result, for site integrators, it should be really easy. Because we all know that one of the biggest problems is ensuring that your templates and your extensions are all up to date. And if it's easy for extension developers to be compatible with a new version, it'll be easier for site integrators to ensure that their extension to have for site integrators to have extensions installed on Joomla 3.9 and feel confident that they can upgrade. Oh, great. Uh, and what are the plans, plans for the future development and will we see a Joomla stable this year? Um, so we have uh, rapidly reached a point where we can start tagging out for releases. I'm hoping that that's going to happen um, in, within the next week or two. Um, once we start, when I say alpha, I mean this will be something that will be buggy, it will be feature incomplete, but it will be something that we want the community to start looking at and talking about and giving feedback on. Because we'll have namespaced all our extensions, we'll have rebuilt the plugin system to make it faster, we'll have got all these new templates in, and it's time to take a step back and say, we've done all these great things, like, but now we've got time to start thinking about everything else. Um, with the aim being, the, the, the longer term aim is that um, once the GSOC projects for this year are finished, we'll um, start to tag beaters and call feature complete. And then it will take how long it takes to get a full stable version. If we're lucky, maybe we can get something out this year, but it's hard to say how long it takes to stabilize once we finish features. Okay. Yeah, thanks for talking this time with me for the interview. And subscribe to the Joomla YouTube channel if you want more interviews like this. Thank you. Thank you.